there is a link between FGM and uh, child marriage because in my community, a girl is um, sexually active at seven years and uh, most of them undergo the practice at the age of 10 years. And from then, they are ready for marriage. I think that uh, uh, both traditions follow uh, very strong and similar social norm that has to do with uh, preparing girls to be, you know, wives. And high number of school dropouts are experienced after the FGC ceremonies. So it's a problem that hinders uh, communities and people's development and specifically girls' development to pursue their life in a positive way and to pursue their dreams. More than 8,500 communities have uh, helped communities to abandon female genital cutting and uh, child marriage. I think my organization and my community can learn uh, from the approach that they're using that is actually very effective and it has shown results and it has actually helped to empower communities in other areas, education, human rights, democracy and the like. I've come to understand that there's a huge uh, huge movement to stopping uh, or to abandoning traditional practices like FGC and uh, child marriage and it's a huge movement that has gone a long journey. The lesson that I've learned is the holistic approach whereby the community themselves are coming up with their own uh, priorities. We need to come in, appreciate the values, the culture of the community, and then have them choose whether or not to live it, instead of forcing it on them, as we've been doing in the past. And this will change, will change everything. To abandon child marriage and FTM in my community, the main things needed is to organize people and also accept the cultural and values of the people and also accepting a holistic approach which is considering the, uh, the needs, the different needs of the communities. To end the child marriage and FG, FGM, we need to have a good cooperation for different levels of the community, if it is the governmental uh, issues, if it's uh, different organizations, local, international, we need to work together. There is a need for uh, the different levels of uh, government structures to work together to combat this and the language that is being used uh, has to be changed and not to use so much force. Uh, we need to uh, start or build up uh, with evidence. So those evidences should pile up and the learnings should, uh, uh, should continue. We still need to go to these communities and bring them together and facilitate the process that will enable them to actually declare publicly that they are abandoning these harmful practices. They should have awareness creation and empower these communities to produce the change themselves.